Friday night in Fordyce is electric. Friday in Fordyce is, is uh, special. To me, football in Fordyce means a way of life. Magical. You can't even explain it. As a kid, I remember you could hear the drums beating, you could hear the band, you could actually hear the cheerleaders cheering, and we would all be walking to the game, and once we heard that, we start running in that direction and get to the game before the kickoff. Fordyce Red Bugs getting set to do battle with the Hampton Bulldogs here in Fordyce on a historic all their line field. Here on 98.9 FM, KBJT AM 159. It's all tails going to hit the ground, guys. It's a really, really rich tradition here. It is tails. So the program started back in 1904. A lot of people don't realize that. Fordyce football started in 1904 at the Clary Training Academy. Uh, 1906, we played our first uh, game with El Dorado uh, here at home. Of course, Fordyce won that game. Coming through the early 1900s, you get to, you know, the late 20s, early 30s, and we, we get to a guy named Paul Bear Bryant, and you know, the rest is history from there. Bear Bryant, of course, he, he played his football at Fordyce. Being in a town where you know Paul Bear Bryant played football at, and he was the win is the winningest coach in NCAA history for college football, that make you feel pretty special. Then we watched guys play in a Super Bowl more than once that wore that Red Bug jersey. You know, that coaching tree was really, really fruitful in regards to the coaches this town produced. There's a lot of really impressive coaches that's come out of this town. Coach Parker, Coach Lacey. <laughs> Another strike down the left side, has a man there, number one, Trey Hutton, catches on the sideline. About 30 years. My first game was the uh, first game of the 1990 season, and I've just missed three in 30 years. It's always good for a Friday night. Everybody look forward to Friday night. The guys get off work, and man, they only have one thing on their mind. Go home, take a shower, get ready to watch those red bugs. That, that to me, that's just small town football. I know there may be other places that have bigger crowds, but when you come to our place with our stadiums and the way that we are, I mean, you're right there on the field. You get to be, you're part of the ball game and you can hear and see everything. Hey, we need to get the ball back. Hey. During the game downtown, I think it's empty. I think everybody's at the football game on Friday night. Matter of fact, we have to make sure we got a policeman to patrol the neighborhoods, because if you want to rob anybody, you can rob them on Friday night in Fort Ayers, because nobody's going to be home. Everybody be at the football field. <laughs> yeah, somebody get the house broken in, too. <laughs> After you add a story, it'll be on me. <laughs> The only red bug in the country. Fort Ice red bugs, the story is that when they were clearing the football field, that uh, they got infested with chiggers. Well, I tell you, we're the only red bug in the nation. When I ordered my class ring, I never forget they was telling us, man, there's a lot of tigers and a lot of bears, but man, they had to specially make a red bug. The red bug mascot itself kind of tells the whole story. A red bug is a small little arachnid that you cannot see with the naked eye. He's so small but you let him bite you and you have been inflicted a wound. Football is just a way of life here in, in this town and community and, and it's gonna continue being that way. You know, it's not, just, it's not just us coming through now. We're having a really successful year, but this started long ago. You know, we're just a part of a, a very special tradition. Quarterback draw here, he's 